بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس دس سیشن پرووائڈس سم ڈیفینیشن آف سلیبس آئی ہوپ اینڈ ایکسپیکٹ بائی دا اینڈ آف دس سیشن یو وڈ بی ایبل ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دا ٹرم سلیبس ویل وین وی گو ٹو دا ایٹمالوجی آف دا ٹرم اکارڈنگ ٹو دا آکسفورڈ انگلش ڈکشنری دا ورڈ سلیبس ڈیرائیو فرام ماڈرن لیٹن سلیبس لسٹ ان ٹرن فرام اے مس ریڈنگ آف دا گریک ورڈ وچ مینس یو نو پارشمنٹ or label or table of contents which first occurred in a 15th century print of Cicero's letters to Atticus. So, you know, this is the, the historical background of the word. There are some definitions of uh, syllabus that I would like to share and these, um, these definitions would throw some light on important aspects of what actually syllabus is. Well, by definition, Um, that is given by Merriam Webster Dictionary. A syllabus is a summary outline of a discourse, treatise, or course of study or of examination requirements. So, you know, outlining uh, what is to be carried out in a classroom uh, would be a summary or uh, would be a kind of a syllabus of uh, that course. It is also defined by a Cambridge Dictionary as a plan showing the subjects or books to be studied in a particular course, especially. Um, a course that leads to an exam. So, you know, a syllabus is related to a formal system of education. The third definition that I'm sharing is of a syllabus in an academic doc as an academic document that communicates course information and defines expectations and responsibilities, both of the learners and of the teachers. It is descriptive, unlike the prescriptive one or the specific curriculum. A syllabus may be set out by an exam board or prepared by the professor who supervises or controls the course quality. Now, what is important in this definition is the descriptive or prescriptive aspect. A course is descriptive in the, uh, a syllabus is descriptive in the sense that it describes, it presents what is it that is going to be in that course or in the particular lessons related to that course. It does not suggest, it does not prescribe that it should be so, rather it describes. Another definition that I'd like to share is the syllabus is a con contract between faculty members and their students designed to answer students' questions about a course as well as inform them about what will happen should they fail to meet the expectations. So a syllabus sets the parameters, what is the expectation from them, what is it that they need to learn or achieve, and what is it um, that they would be considered to be failed if they are unable to achieve. Co a syllabus is also considered to be a vehicle for expressing accountability and commitment. It's more like a documented record of what is to be carried out in the classroom. So it makes accountability and commitment both um, easy to be checked. Well, my dear students, we need to differentiate between a syllabus and a curriculum. For this purpose, we need to understand what is a curriculum. A curriculum refers to all those activities in which children engage under the auspices of the school. These include not only what pupils learn, but how they learn it, how teachers help them learning, using what supporting materials, styles, methods, assessment, and all the kind of facilities that they would be provided. For example, ITC facilities or the lab facilities for their scientific work, etc. in the school. So curriculum is a comparatively broader um, a term that covers all and that is all encompassing of all the activities that would take place in the school. Curriculum deals with the abstract general goals of education, which reflect the overall educational and cultural philosophy of the country, of the national political trends, as well as the theoretical orientation of language learning and teaching that is being followed in that particular social context. In other words, curriculum is a theoretical document and it refers to the program of studies in an educational system or institution. And a curriculum provides the overall logic or rationale for, the, for educating those students and also in certain ways. When we look at curriculum versus syllabus, a curriculum is concerned with making general statements about language learning, uh, learning purpose and experience and the relationship between the teacher and the learner. But for that language classroom, when we look at the syllabus, a syllabus is more localized and it is more based on the accounts and the records of what actually happens at the classroom level. It is more like a documentation of what a teacher is supposed to do 
or 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 he or she does in a classroom and what the learners are expected to do or what actually they do in um, in a classroom so a syllabus is actually a means of the application of a curriculum uh, in that particular situation of that particular um, classroom um, where a particular lesson is being taught